This is one of me when I joined the army. Wow. And this was me in Italy. Wow. So beautiful. I joined the army when I was 17. And what did you end up doing as a job? And they put me in the signals, okay. the royal signals. D-Day, I was on night duty and the girls came and woke me up and they said, come and have a look at all the gliders going over. And of course, it had started. People have often said to me, were you afraid? Yeah. We weren't afraid. There was too much going on. How do you feel you were treated as a woman in the army during the war? I think we were treated rather well. Mind you, some of our barracks were ghastly and sometimes the food was pretty grotty. Now this is Barbara. Lovely to see you all. Thank you. Any signals? Uh, Royal signals? signals. Oh, hello. <laughs> what made you decide to join the army? The army was always kind of something I really wanted to do um, and it always intrigued me. I come from a health background, um, so I'm going to be joining the Royal Army Medical Corps. How do you deal with conflict now? Because girls, I understand, are allowed to shoot and kill and... Males and females do nothing different. It means that if and when the time does ever come that a female needs to pull the trigger in combat, she can have 100% confidence in the exactly. training that she's been given. Exactly. So, and how do you think you would have felt about that? Maybe having to pull the trigger? I don't think I'd have any trouble. No. It's a wonderful life. I'd recommend any young girl have a go, even if you're unsure. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> I feel like I want to give you a hug. Is that allowed? Is that allowed? <laughs> Are you allowed to hug? Well, it was so nice to meet you. And you, Becky. It's been a real delight. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much for spending the time. It's been beautiful. Thank you.